Creative Tech Week is brilliant. It fills such a thrilling space in terms of the interest that overlaps. Anything in today's world is about everything. It's about tech and all of these ideas from these different directions, they all have value together. But they're, they're not things that we would necessarily uh, encounter in our specific fields. So I think there's great value to something where we take a broader look at everything that's happening and share ideas. that attracts me most is about um, this event that combines the creative creativity and technology because especially it's in New York uh, a city where um, people from different backgrounds they work together and they create amazing um, projects and I think in creative tech week from last week's uh, arts hub and to this week's conference I can see that there are a lot of amazing people doing um, uh, working on amazing projects um, combining creativity art design to technology The conference ha I th has been very effective because of the range of presentations. You, you, you have individuals pursuing you know, er, very unique art projects. You have corporations which are presenting you know, from their corporate perspective. So you get a full range of, of motiva motivations for art, the, the art and technology. Um, you get a glimpse of the, the art organizations, uh, who, you know, wh where the art tech community, you know, the pl people who are involved in it. So you, you get a really good outline of that. I think that Creative Tech Week, of all the other conferences I know about, is very um, intersectional. So I, I've attended in New York conferences on technology alone, conferences on the arts, on films alone, so very separate things. But Creative Tech Week works as this bridge between both of these two things, and it's not something I have seen before. So I think intersectionality is how things get better, how you learn from other things, and then you can use that in, in different applications. And I think that's what the world is about today and with the kinds of problems um, that we're trying to think up solutions for. I, I felt like I was exposed to some new things in people applying technology to create art that I actually, some of them I didn't know had been done before or how people did them. What's going on here is we're going into the future in a way of like, wait a minute, people are expressing themselves, are going to express themselves digitally in ways that are different from traditional art forms, but, you know, there's still going to be art. I think one of the best things about this conference is really getting people's stories about their work. There's a lot of work that I was peripherally familiar with, but here you get the context of what got them into it in the first place, what they're doing with their lives now, um, you know, sort of what struggles, what helped them out, and sort of how they got there. Uh, that's taught me a lot. I haven't seen anything else like this, and I felt great that it's, uh, it's here. You know, and it's spread out over a time where I can squeeze it into my schedule to come and see things and uh, hear people talk about their creative lives and the work that they've done. Um, and to think about the future. I mean, that's the part that actually I, I kind of, the idea of thinking about, well, where's this all going? Where is digital art going to be in 20, 40 years or 50 years or something? What's happening with it? You know, how's it changing? How's it going to change into the future?